All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing another Walking Dead video for today leading up to the ninth season for the Walking Dead television series. And this one we're going to take a look through together an interview with Greg Nicotero where he gives his thoughts on Andrew Lincoln's final episodes in The Walking Dead. And I'll put the link in the description as per usual for you guys so you can go ahead and check this one out about The Walking Dead Season 9. So we're inching our way uh, ever closer by the day to The Walking Dead Season 9's premiere next Sunday. And uh, just really mixed emotions right now, I think, from everybody. Uh, AMC's still kind of pumping out these Rick's final episodes, um, you know, uh, promotionary trailers and teasers and this kind of stuff. And uh, recently they just did one... Um, where it shows kind of like Rick's uh, <laughs> Rick's uh, journey through the series. There's even some clips in there of like season one and Carl and like the beginning and then in through like season five and some of the important moments really quickly throughout the series up into uh, season nine. Um, so, you know, if you haven't seen them, you can check them out. Uh, really sad, man. So, you know, with this one, we've kind of been on the fence about it. You guys have seen my sort of final predictions video that I did in the channel here where I said that I was hoping that the ending for him would be left open-ended. Maybe you have a helicopter, you do something like this, and uh, and then that way he'd be able to return later. Uh, recently, we just got the information that he'll be returning, but it's going to be as a director or shadowing a director, so he's still going to be involved with the show. He still wants to help with the series, but it sounds to me like he doesn't want to be the forefront character anymore as Rick. He doesn't want to kind of continue... Um, you know, in that way, it looks like. So we're seeing all this info come out. We'll go through this one here. But uh, yeah, <laughs> with regards to the whole, uh, you know, conversation of will he survive? Will it be open ended? Will he leave somehow and then, you know, leave the door open for him to come back later? Uh, as Rick still, uh, it sounds like based on what we're seeing here, probably not. So here's what Greg Nicotero said about it. He said that, uh, quote, um, I think I'm still in denial, executive producer, director, and makeup supervisor Greg Nicotero told Insider of Lincoln leaving the AMC zombie drama. I keep uh, thinking he's still going to walk down the hallway. I've grown into the filmmaker that I am with Andy at my side and with Norman by my side or at my side. Uh, I watched him as an actor and he watched me as a makeup effects artist and became the producing director on the show, said Nicotero. Looking back on his time with uh, Lincoln, uh, We've shared a lot this season. Andy has great instincts. He continued, every time we get together and it's an episode that I'm directing, we'll get together at my house and we'll read the scripts together. He'll do his character and then I'll read the other characters and we sit and we uh, dissect the story and we dissect the script and we make sure that it feels authentic to who we believe the characters are. It's been an amazing opportunity to collaborate with him uh, or with an actor like him and a friend like him. It's still weird. It's so weird. So then, in addition to the premiere, Nicotero told Insider, he will direct Lincoln's final appearance on the show this fall. So it's like... <laughs> It's <laughs> his death, uh, pretty much. Uh, you know, I'm kind of like laughing, but it's like, you know, so mixed emotions, so sad at the same time, right? So the only other episode Nicotero directed for this first half of season nine is its uh, fifth episode, What Comes After. So uh, expect five more episodes with Mr. Grimes. What can fans expect? Um, then it says, uh, quote, it's a magnificent episode. I don't want to get into it too much because I don't want to really ruin anything. Nicotero teased of Lincoln's final episode. Um, it's the storytelling aspect of it, and his journey really, really touches upon some of the highlights of the show over the past eight years. Uh, it was a delight to craft the episode, so it's a really unique situation, and we had a great time making it. Even though it was sad, I think uh, all of us were sort of a little bit, or in a little bit of shock. The direction that the show has gone in in the remaining episodes of Season 9 have got some fantastic actors. I love them all. They're unique. They're interesting. They're thought-provoking. And then it says, While Nicotero and AMC have been trying to keep the details of Rick's final episodes under wraps, reports from Entertainment Weekly and The Hollywood Reporter confirmed former The Walking Dead star John Berthal, who played Rick's best friend Shane, will return on one episode of Season 9. Former uh, showrunner Scott Gimple and now The Walking Dead Universe Chief Content Officer told TV Line a Bernthal's appearance will be quote-unquote heavy. <laughs> so that's the only word he used, just heavy. That's, that's our quote, right? Um, 
and then it continues here. It's been a very unique transition. So I think this is uh, Nicotero again. Um, unique transition for a show that was so grounded with Rick's character. Nicotero told us uh, the legacy that Lincoln leaves behind, but also how an ensemble has shaped the show. But the truth of the matter is, The Walking Dead really was grounded by a lot of fantastic actors and great performers. Melissa McBride, John Berthold, Scott Wilson, Norman Reedus, Stephen Yoon. So many great actors have really done a lot to leave their fingerprints on the show andy we've been grateful and honored to be or to be able to see what he's been able to bring to the show i was sad and i'm still sad uh but i still think uh he's going to walk through the door so i think i'm sort of in denial about the whole thing so when pressed if the audience will cry when watching lincoln's final episode nicotero was careful in choosing his words he said quote yeah probably <laughs> Uh, it's a little hard for me to say because I directed it. I sort of dealt with it in a more technical aspect of what I needed to do. There were moments on set when we would look at each other and uh, we would both have to turn away and walk away because there's so much unspoken history between us and we're so close that neither of us really want to say or really uh, was ready to say anything to each other other than just, um, I think I have 300 pictures of him and uh, I just um, leaning on each other on the set. Uh, just that to me is what makes it, uh, what made it uh, beautiful. So and then uh, fans can probably expect to see some of those photos make their way uh, to Nicotero's Instagram this fall. And, um, yeah, so, um, so then they plug some reviews they've got, that kind of thing. They go into a little bit about, um, you know, Maggie and that there's, so there's some news circulating that she could return in season 10. So, you know, we'll see depending on how Whiskey uh, Cavalier, uh, uh, does and that whole thing. So, you know, cause her story is going to be open-ended. So Nicotero does confirm that her story will be left open-ended, but uh, then he says here, I think because we're still here and we're still fighting to make the show great. And his Lincoln spirit is here with us fighting to make the show great. We have an opportunity in the episodes following that moment uh, that uh, we are that like we did in the premiere. So Nicotero, who recently finished work on the uh, season nine mid-season premiere, which will air next season on AMC or next year on AMC. Um, not season next year. It's a unique transition, and then once we have the addition of the newer characters, it really feels like it's a great journey to be on. So a true new beginning. Oh man, crazy. Um, and it says here, I've worked very hard in the episodes that I've directed to have the audience really go on this journey with us, said Nicotero. There's some mystery coming up, and it's uh, very different than what we've done in the show in the past, uh, where we are allowing the audience to go on this journey with us and uh, sort of discover clues to what's happening. And uh, I think, uh, really, that's one of the things uh, I really like about this season. Oh, man, so heavy stuff, right? As Scott Kibble said about Jeff Berthold's, uh, you know, return to the series as Shane for one episode, probably just like for a scene or two, um, you know, even if just probably just, even if it's just a minute or a few minutes or something. But uh, I thought this was a cool one for us to go over together, guys, um, just so that we can kind of be emotionally uh, prepped for the season. And that's probably why AMC uh, decided that they would promote this season as Rick's final episodes. Because, well, I do like the idea of, you know, personally, if I had to choose i really would hope to see rick uh, leave and then somehow be able to come back in the story later maybe they could use time skips or that kind of thing to kind of distance it and have it work out so that they can bring him back later if they want to but um you know as you're reading this through here and at everything they're releasing let's put it this way everything everybody's saying and everything they're releasing sounds like rick's getting killed off you know, you, you can read into it, and like you said here, that he's still in denial about it, so maybe I've been in a bit of denial about it myself too. But everything they're saying sounds to me like Rick really is just getting killed off, and, and we're not going to see that. So I really hope not, but, you know, there's nothing they can do about it now. It's already filmed. It's already, uh, you know, in the bag. It's it's going to be starting soon to see these episodes roll through. Decisions, you know, go one way. Uh, we know that uh, Andrew Lincoln's contract was up this summer for renegotiations for going forward and um, sounds like maybe he decided that he, he wasn't going to be able to sign on for another long contract to, to keep playing the role of Rick so uh, maybe that's what uh, what we're seeing here is that he decided just <laughs> just write it and kill me off and then 
I'll still be involved with the show to do other things, like maybe directing some episodes or, you know, still being a leader on the show and, and everything like that. But in the background, not likely uh, on screen, um, certainly as much as, as we're used to seeing him. So this is going to be a huge transitionary year for The Walking Dead. Let's see how, how fans respond to this outrage, outcry, and in the, in the most emotional episode of any TV series we've probably ever seen that's coming up. So just letting you guys know, you know, what's going on here. Really hoping out, you know, holding out for that last bit of hope that, you know, they're messing with us, right? <laughs> like they're messing with us and he's not coming back to shadow with director or, or to direct. He's just going to be returning as Rick, but he doesn't want us to know because, of you know, spoilers and the whole bit. Holding out the last last little bit of hope, you right? But it's, it's really, especially when I read this through, it's like... Uh, you know, oh man, it just really sounds like uh, they killed him off, man. That's <laughs> you know, like, God damn it. So still holding out hope. Let me know what you guys think. Where are you at? We're almost there. Next weekend it starts. What are you expecting to see right now? Are you still holding out hope like I am that somehow he can leave and they're just messing with us? Uh, or are, are you kind of like, well, you know, all of their, all the different things everybody is saying, you know, involved with the series is, is on point. It's all in sync. And it sounds like maybe they have filmed Rick's uh, death. You know, and like they said, you're maybe episode five, episode six, somewhere around there. So, oh, man. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments below. And uh, if you like this video, um, you know, I don't know, thumb it up or thumb it down or whatever you want to do. Sad news for sure. Definitely emotional news for sure. Let me know how you guys are doing. And uh, I'll see you again soon. As always, this is Trav. Same peace. Later, guys. See you soon.